Hi and welcome to Belita's Designs and Fresh Folds. Today I want to show you three of the Angry Bird cards that I've made. Um, you might have remembered the pigs that I made um, earlier. Well, I had a request um, from someone who wanted to know if I had any bird patterns. So I've had a little play with them. They're only small cards, but you can adjust the size of the pattern. And um, yeah, I'm going to give the red one a go today and um, show you how to do it. Okay, so first print off your pattern. Okay, so the main body of the card, remember that you put um, that dotted line on the fold. And the easiest way to cut this out with your pattern is to just roughly cut around the shapes and put a little bit of removable tape on the back and then put it onto the colour card that you need. And then you're just going to go ahead and cut out the pattern. Okay, so the piece of feather that goes on his head, I've cut around the pattern, like that stuck to the pattern, but then I've drawn a line into here, so what I want you to do is cut into that line. Okay, so you get a little shape like this, and this is going to help you shade it. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, once you've cut out the main um, body of the card, take that back off carefully, and we're going to cut a piece of white card for this section here. Okay, so once you've got all your pieces cut, just remove all the patterns. And then you can start to shade them. Actually, before you move this, remove the beak. And this applies to all of them. What you need to do is grab an emboss tool and just go along that black line that I've marked. This is going to help you to shade it. So take the pattern off. And you can see that emboss line there. What you need to do is just fold it like that and make make some creases where I've drawn those lines like this. And this is a way that you can shade your beak if you don't want to draw the line on. So I'll get my black ink. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so if you've got that folded nice and crisp, you can grab your shading and you can follow along that fold line. Okay, and then go along this fold line. And then go around the outside. So that's one way of doing the beak, or you could just draw the lines on with a marker if you'd prefer that. Okay, and then go ahead and shade all your other pieces. Shade this one within the cut. So what you're going to do is just shade one side of this black and then go around all around the outside. Okay, and then that's going to give you that black line that goes into the um, feathers there and just define that more for you. So go ahead and, and um, ink around your card. I've punched two eyes here. One's a one inch circle, the other's a three quarter inch circle and the inner black eye is just the regular hole punch. Okay, the tummy here I've only inked the bottom in black and I've inked the top part in a really like blush colour. Okay, so I've got all my pieces um, cut out sponged and ready to stick together. So we'll put the tummy on first. And we'll just put this up here to judge where it was. So it was about down there. But you just refer back to the pattern. Okay, and if you've cut that out a little bit wonky and some sticks over, just clip it off around there. Okay, so we've got the tummy on. Next I want to put hmm, his hair on the top, like that. You can grab a, a white sponge dauber and just add some shading then to the top of that feather. And a little bit of shading on the top of his head, like that. Alright, now the eyes, we'll go ahead and do them first. I've 
clip them down a little bit and just refer back to the pattern where it shows you um, how to do that but the round arc that I'm cutting or the arch whatever you want to call it, it like it represents his cheeks okay so what we're going to do then is glue them onto the eyebrows and you want to at that point of the eyebrow bring that to the edge of the eye and then just overlap that eye a little bit to bring that in then with the edge as well Oops. like that so the eyes then are done and ready to go on the card we'll just put just the little inner circles on they're the ones cut with the, the regular hole punch okay so we'll glue that to the card and then we'll put the beak on And the beak here you can see my beak here has a little white section cut okay keep that pattern and then cut a little section out in white okay so I've glued a little that little white section in because that's representing his beak open and then I'm just going to put a little bit of sponging on the outside of that to match in with the beak okay and then glue that on so this is they're basically paper piecing patterns these the only punches I've used are the circle ones for um, his eyes. Right, and then position that so that the beak goes to the point of the eyes. Like that, and glue that on. And then lastly put his tail on. So I've just glued that to the back of the card like that. Okay. And that's the red one done. Now, why I did the red one, I wanted to show you um, how to get these lines here under his eyes. Really easy. I've just got a really fine marker, and I'm going to put that at the base of the eye and just trace along. And that's going to represent his cheek. Okay, so do the same for the other one. I just move slowly because um, the ink does soak up into the white a little bit. So I'll just zoom up and show you what I mean. Okay, and I'll, if I can get that in so there's no shade. Okay, so I'm just going to move slowly along the bottom of the eye. And go just a little bit over. And that's, you can see there where that soaked in just a little bit. Okay, and that's going to represent the cheeks. That's as simple and as easy as they get. The patterns will be on my blog there that you can download and have fun with. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.